All right, it is recording. Good. I am. S All right, can. Let's hope that this will be the time where I can a actually finish this, actually do this fucking thing. And I have no shield because Hades Gate is a fucking asshole right now. So I'm done using. I'm done using it for right now. It's a cool proc, but every fucking time it goes off, every single time I've tried recording this, it has fucking warped me straight into the middle of every fucking enemy you can possibly imagine, and I get killed instantly. Like, even if Blink took less than 10 years to activate, I would still die. So, I can't use it. I just can't use it. So I'm gonna have to go without a shield. So... I got plug Y, finally. Which means I've rolled this... the game version back to 113. I would have done it earlier, but I was afraid that I was gonna fuck up everything and de de destroy my game and have to start over, basically. Luckily, that was not the case. Okay, get rid of these assholes. Kill the pain spirit guys. That's just what I'm calling them, Pain Spirit guys. I know they're Sunless Revelers, but I, I don't give a shit. Well, and there's more over here. Okay, now there's not. Can we... Okay, good. Can... I would really like to get through this area, if possible. I did do it off screen, but with a little bit of difficulty. Oh, oh, Burning Veil. Okay, good. I need Burning Veil. I would like to use Hades Gate here, but no, the risk is too high. I'm just gonna get killed. Guaranteed, it would just warp me right into the field of enemies and insta-give me. Okay, fair, get the fuck out. Alright. Keep throwing. Get out. Okay, now here I am gonna attempt to do a strategy that is... Okay, come on. Yeah, at least Blast Wave worked. And yeah, it guaranteed if I had that shield, Hades Gate would have warped me right into the middle of that field and I would be dead. Because that's all that's been happening every time I've tried recording it, this segment, and every time I tried using it. Oh god, get the fuck away from that part of the island! I will kill everything from here. Fuck these fairs. Reason why I am doing that is because I know Malik can shoot from the other side of the river and kill you with his insta gib projectile projectiles. Okay, am I hitting these mutants or what? Am I am I hitting them? Okay. Now I am. Get out. Go away. Okay. Can we... Can we kill the rest of the crap? Okay, thank you. At least now we have a fall... At least now I have a fallback point. Okay, what is hitting me? The pain spirits are like a mile away. 
What the hell? So anyway, if you're here with Malik, you can just spam some, if you're a ranged character, just spam whatever ranged attack you have. I mean, I couldn't do this with the Lazy Den because those are really short range. A Symphony of Destruction might have still worked, but like, in terms of a ranged skill that can actually go far, like Maelstrom, Witchwind, oh god, no. For Barbarians, you can just spam Fortress, and if you have enough points into a... Oh my god! And if you have enough points into Wolf Companion, the target seek range will be enough to hit Malak. And you can just do that. It's not the fastest way of doing this with a Barbarian, but it's the safest. That is undeniable. That is undeniable. Now, even if Hades Gate wasn't being a complete douchebag to me for this Uber, gotta make sure this is still recording. It is. Um, I still wouldn't risk it because I know as soon as it works and I go over there, I'm I'm duh, I'm boned. Also, I gotta kill these sunless revelers. Where is that? Where is that one guy? It was, like, over this way, wasn't it? Yeah, somewhere. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, and he, he can cast a Banish on you, which lowers your health. But, given that those things insta-kill you anyway, and those are the only ranged attacks he has, it's really not important. Also, if he spawned with stone skin, we could be here a while. As I don't care how long this takes, I will do it this way. I don't care. I'm done with trying to I'm done with trying to do it faster. This really is the safest way of fighting Malik. Now, Stormcrows, I don't know if those can go far enough to hit him. Let, I'm going to actually test that. Okay, let's see. Shit. Okay, Stormcrows. Let's see if this works. No, guess not. No! Stupid. Uh, no. There's no way to improve the seek range either. That's the sad thing. Maelstrom goes much farther, which is why I've been using that for the entirety of the game. But for close enemies that are close to you, uh, and if you're only trying to kill like two, three enemies at a time, Stormcrows is better. I found that out while doing LAJ. Yeah, you just rinse and repeat this. It's pretty monotonous and redundant. I can get this corpse and whatever the hell it had away. Was, how far does Witchwind go? Yeah, not even a full screen. That's not going to work. I don't think. We'll find out, though. And every, I swear, every time he's spawning with stone skin. Okay. See, this is why I sped it up last time, because this was taking too long, because he spawns with fucking stone skin every time.
Yeah, I'm just gonna let Witch Wind do most of the work. Or try to. Uh, go away. Those things only hit whatever target he specifically attacked. Okay. Not sure if that worked or not. So, even if they they can, I think, pass through anything else, and it won't affect them. Come on. Are you dead? Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Thank God. Okay. And I'm not even gonna attempt to put on the fucking Hades Gate Shield, because I know it's gonna fuck me as soon as I do. So... If only I could find the Tracker's... I think it's Tracker's Effigy, the shield for that set. If only I could find that, because... I... I can't remember what I said in this one and what I scrapped. I know I said this in some of the scrapped ones, but I don't remember if I said it in this one. I did actually find the Tracker's Strike, which is the weapon for the Tracker set. I actually did find that. On this character, while I was trying to find the Hammer of the Tan Judges in Karas 3000. So that would be a nice little gift for me, having a better shield. A lot, well, I don't know about a lot more defense, but with more defense, definitely, and all resistances, not as much as a Hades Gate shield, but still a lot, and it doesn't detract from poison resistance at all either, so that would be nice. Also, I MO'd my Emprian bands with Thunder Hammer after kill. Please? I'm gonna attempt. Get out of here. Okay, uh. Yeah, that was blank. Are you kidding me? He got it, but I didn't. In my first attempt at this, the game crashed, because something about Lucian's attack makes this game crash. And once again, Pain Spirit hitting me from a mile away. I would love to know what the mechanics behind Pain Spirit are. Because I want to know why it's hitting me from so far away. Okay. Wait for the immunity. There we go. Knock it off. Go away. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back to the old, uh... Oh, there's Lucian. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, I finally fucking did it. Now I can attack. Now I can re-equip this. And let's see if I get immediately killed as soon as Hades Gate triggers. Surprisingly, no. I'm surprised it didn't warp me in there for some reason. And there it almost did. Although, I could have drank some potions before that. Whatever. So, uh... I'm going to see if I can get a better roll from that. My priorities in order are minus enemy resistance, then personal resistances, then rainbow damage. 
Uh, let's see. Nine. Okay, the other one was better. So, once... So once I get... Where's that six angel bag? Uh... I thought I dropped it here. There it is. Fucking thing wouldn't display it to me. Alright, so now it's time for uh, Assault on Mount Ariat. Finally. Now, here's a question. Will the mercenary get insta-gived by the... by the Thorns Aura beasts? Or as I call them, the Fuck You Aura. Yeah, I think that's what just... Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Didn't even get my statement out, and that's what happened. It doesn't matter, because, uh... The mercenary has a tendency of dying in Assault on Mount Ariat, too. Like, I don't know why. Like, I did it with the mercenary, but he just randomly died during that. I don't know why. But Assault on Mount Ariat isn't that hard anyway. Also, I did s score a successful Lord Aldrich Jatan kill, but it's the same strategy as Akarat, but it's a lot harder. Especially given that LAJ and his crew are immune to poison. Alright, and I'm running. And even if Hades Gate warps me into a crowd, I really don't care that much. Because Corpse Retrieval here isn't that hard. Uh, come on. And luckily the Dark Templars can tank somewhat well. Good job. Good job, hit recovery. Um, thankfully... Uh... Thankfully this does work, but once I get to, uh, Bale, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I'm dead. That wasn't even because of, uh... Hit... That wasn't even because of Hades Gate, that was just... Because of the shitty hit recovery that Diablo has. But I see King Koth was vulnerable there. Like, look at that! What the fuck? There is no reason why the hit recovery should be that fucking sad. And his chance to hit is close enough to 95% regardless. So I may as well run. Don't. Okay. I love how you can't even see that. Hopefully that gets fixed in median 2017 or Sigma. Oh, and uh, he can hit with that through the wall, I see. And there you go, Sacred World Stone Key. I do plan on doing Column Grad, but um, I'm going to have to re-roll the map until I get a map layout that is acceptable, which is close to either Frozen Tundra Entrance or Ancient's Way Entrance or the Frozen Tundra Waypoint. And I think I'm just going to add that to this. Yeah, I'm just gonna add that to the end of this. So I'll see you when uh, I'll see you when I get back. Okay. Thankfully, that only took one try. So, got my mercenary revived, ready to go. Just like with the uh, uh, Island of the Sunless Sea. No, Karas three thousand. I'll kill one of the. One of the bosses that can drop the charm and just leave it at that, and I'll keep trying it off screen until I get it. Because, again, it makes no difference if you kill one or run the entire thing. Hopefully, yeah, it's just right there. Hopefully, there will not be too many enemies. 
around for Hades Gate to warp me into the waiting arms of a witch. And Alright, get get in the portal. And you know the drill for this. Kill ethereals to weaken for the immunities of Zach's avatar to drop. And I'm gonna try Witch Wind. I don't know if that'll work. Seems to be okay. Yep, and he's dead. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Actually, see if I can kill... Oh, God. The Ethereal Light Wells are a nightmare because their punishers are insanely cast. Their power... Theirs are almost instant kill. And I do not have his poison resist stacked. Okay, blink around. Go, go, go. Let's see how far I can actually go. Yes! God damn it. Well, anyway, there's uh, Column Grad. I'm going to keep attempting that until um, Zachroom's ear drops. And I guess next time will be Faustonville and the Black Road Challenge, uh, the Trial of Knowledge. Um, see you then.